The demographic transition model, or DTM, shows changes over time in a population. The total population responds to changes in birth and death rates. Where there is a difference between birth and death rates, the population total will change. The level of development of a population can be linked to one of the five stages of the DTM. As a population becomes more developed, its characteristics change. In stage one, the birth rate and death rate are both high. They may fluctuate because of disease, war and famine, but the population total remains fairly stable. With few resources, people need more children to support their future. The level of development is very low and much of the work is done by hand. Having more children will increase the amount of work that can be accomplished by a family. Population pyramids show the structure of populations. The population is categorised by gender and age groups called cohorts. When we look at a population pyramid for stage one, we see it has a wide base, reflecting that a high proportion of the people in the population are young. Unfortunately, people do not live so long because support services, such as medical care, are undeveloped. The pyramid has concave sides and is short because few people are living to older ages. In stage 2, death rates fall significantly, mainly due to improved medical care but also as a result of developments such as cleaner water supplies and increased food output. Birth rates remain high because more children means more workers in the fields and children can look after their parents in old age and some governments are unwilling or unable to support family planning. With birth rates higher than death rates, the population total grows. The population pyramid in stage 2 has a wide base reflecting high birth rates. But with people starting to live longer due to development, the pyramid becomes more triangular in shape and is slightly taller, showing some people are living to older ages. In stage 3, death rates continue to fall, but now more slowly. The birth rates start to fall as well as a result of the introduction of family planning and birth control policies. Economic growth is a great help in financing the policies, improving education and changing social attitudes towards large families. Economic development is accompanied by more people living in cities where the cost of bringing up children is higher. The expectation of children to carry out work to support the family declines and they are likely to spend a proportion of their time at school. Population continues to grow, but not quite as fast. The population pyramid no longer has clear steps at the bottom of the base, showing birth rate is falling. The base is narrower and the middle broader, showing that a bigger proportion of the population are reaching middle age. Greater numbers of people are living to older ages. In stage 4, both birth rates and death rates are low. Population growth has slowed. Improved educational opportunities for women make a big difference. More women entering higher education, marrying later and pursuing careers greatly reduces average family sizes. It may become the norm that both parents work and see the benefits of smaller families. Economic development allows people to take advantage of the opportunities to invest in one or two children. The population pyramid now has wider bars at the top, showing that people are living longer. A narrowing base shows a falling birth rate, with fewer children joining the population. In stage 5, the birth rate falls below the death rate. 
death rates increase slightly because of an ageing population. In general, women are putting off having children until later or choosing not to have children. Economic development is at its greatest, providing high quality medical care and other services. But there are concerns that there are not enough people of working age to support the economy. The population total decreases unless immigration replaces the retired population. The population pyramid now has a narrow base, showing that birth rates are very low. The upper bars are much wider, indicating a greater proportion of the population are older and are living long lives. The differences between the population pyramids can be seen more clearly when we show them together. Don't forget to check out the other Geography Juice videos on this and other geography topics. Thank you for watching.